What's going on guys? This is Miasin and this is my updated Dragon Link combo video. Some of these combos actually feature Boral and Dragon, which I want to say doesn't change that much to Dragon Link overall, but it is one extra interruption and a very powerful card even going second since it's kind of like an ultimate conductor Tyranno. It can attack every monster upon controls. It can't be targeted or destroyed by like anything. It can negate monsters and can't even be responded to and revive back rocket monsters. So all of these effects are super broken, but the issue is that it is a Link 5 monster. So it kind of takes a little bit of time to get there, but I'm still going to be showing you guys nonetheless combos that I figured out with this deck. So before this video starts, make sure you like and subscribe and also check me out on Twitch and Instagram and stay tuned for the deck profile coming up tomorrow. And with that being said, let's jump right into combo number one. So assuming that you have something like this, Rocket Tracer and Absol Router Dragon, Involving nothing else, look at what you can do. So normal summon, and then special summon the Absol Router. Go Chain Link 1, Needle Fiber, Chain Link 2, Absol Router. You can do that. So pretty nice Chain Block here. Summon the Rocket Synchron, and then make Striker Dragon. Surge the Boot Sector Launch, which you will activate right away in order to summon your Rocket Tracer, which is going to be linked off for Pisty. And now we have kind of the zone spoiling too, so the Pisty can revive back the Rocket Tracer again. And then Striker Dragon, pop the Needle Fiber. You actually want to get rid of it because it is not a dragon monster. So if you want to make the Hieratic Seal in the extra monster zone, which is the only place where this card has the broken effect to bounce back a card, you're going to have to get rid of that Needle Fiber. Anyways, so now you're going to be using the effect of Rocket Tracer, pop the Boot Sector Launch, bro, whatever, Rocket Recharger, make the Boral Savage Dragon, equip back the uh, Needle Fiber from the graveyard, and just like that, with a hand that didn't look that great, you were able to end on the Hieratic Seal and Boral Savage Dragon. Not too bad, I will take that any day of the week. Now let's jump right into combo number two. I think you can already see it, but this combo is much better than combo number one because this time we have Chaos Space and pretty much any discard already does a pretty nice board. So let's get right into it. Chaos Space is going to be searching for the Black Dragon Collapse Serpent and then make Striker Dragon, Chain Link 1, Chain Link 2, whatever. It depends on which one is the most fragile. And then the, get the Wyver Buster, draw one card, and then link off for the Romulus. And then again, Chain Link 1, Chain Link 2 in order to get a search and a, um, well, actually double search. But this one's not really relevant because we already searched it, so we can actually just use it as a discard. And that's what we will be doing. So send the Absol Router Dragon, get the Rocket Tracer from our deck to the hand, and then pop summon the uh, Recharger, make the Peace Team, and then make Quad Boral Dragon, revive back the Striker Dragon, make the Lindris Dragon, and then pop it, revive back two monsters, and since a rocket monster was summoned on the field, we can revive back that Dillinger's Dragon. So this is the utility for it. Usually when you see Dillinger's Dragon, it's because the Quad Boral Dragon is going to be popping it. So yeah, this is how we get to the Link 5 a little easier, because that's exactly what we were going to be doing. Boral and Dragon negate our Rocket Recharger, revive back the Rocket Tracer, and make Boral Savage Dragon. So this board, in terms of interruptions, is the same as combo number one. But we have a Boral End instead of a Hieratic Seal. And this card is much more annoying to get rid of. Because your opponent, in order to clear the Hieratic Seal, can just summon, uh, like, let's say, a Cyber Dragon. And you either have to bounce it back or whatever, bounce back your own card, whatever. It doesn't change anything. But at least that takes care of it. Whereas Boral End, if your opponent isn't playing Cyber Dragon to contact Fuse or Mega Fleet, this is going to be very, very annoying for a lot of decks. And again, this card can revive back your Rocket Monsters, which can pop, let's say, your Romulus if you're summoning back Tracer, and then summon another Rocket Monster, and next turn you basically just go for game, on top of, again, being able to attack all monsters your opponent controls at once each, and it's absolutely impossible to get rid of this card. Very, very annoying. And in case we're wondering when we are going to be getting this card, it is in the set that has Deco Talker Heat Soul as an OCG import, because that is exactly what this card is, an OCG import uh, from the OCG to the TCG. Anyways, let's get into combo number three now. All right, so again, a combo that is uh, kind of better. It depends on your definition of better. This time we do have uh, to use a discard. Yeah, Seifert and Chamber Dragon Maid, look at what you can do. So normal Seifert, send the Chamber to the graveyard, get the Wyver Buster from her deck to the hand, and then make the Romulus, Chain Link 1, Chain Link 2, so double search, Black Dragon, Collapse Serpent, and the Ravine, use the Ravine, discard the Forbidden Drop in order to send the Absol Router, which will search the Rocket Tracer. Sorry, not even, the Rocket Caliber. The reason is you can actually special summon this card to his own a Dark Link monster points to, and you're going to figure out that this is quite relevant. So now we make the Pisty, and we can summon this Caliber here, because it is a Dark Link monster. 
And now you can make Striker Dragon because we didn't make it before. So with LP being banned, this is unfortunately the best we can do if we really want to use the effect of Pisty without relying on the World Legacy Guard Dragon. But whatever, this Pisty is going to be pretty good. So the Striker Dragon is going to be searching for the Boot Sector launch. And then revive back the Chamber from the Banish, which is going to be searching for that Tidying. Not too bad, not too bad. And then make the Heretic Seal, pop it, uh, the Striker Dragon in order to recycle back the, uh, the uh, Rocket Calibre. And then activate Boot Sector launch, summon it from the hand, and then you're going to be, of course, making Borlold Savage Dragon, get back the Romulus, and then set your Tidying Pass. So yeah, this combo is better. You have Heretic Seal, Savage, and Tidying. So three interruptions, but you did need a discard for that. Still a 2.5 card combo that ends on three inter interruptions and a pretty good follow-up is something I will take absolutely any day of the week. So that's it for this combo. Let's jump into the fourth and final combo. All right, so this is basically just me playing a random hand against uh, myself. And I looked at it and I was like, mm, how can I really play this out perfectly? Because my mills might not be good enough. And I didn't really want to rely on luck with a Chaos Ruler or a Demonic Dragon. So look at what I did. I went for Chaos Space, discard the Driver, and then get the Black Dragon Collab Serpent. Made the Pisty and now the Striker Dragon. You're going to see why soon enough. And then search the Wyver Dragon Buster. And then you're going to be drawing with a Chaos Space. Wow, I got pretty lucky. Quick launch, not too bad. And then get the uh, Black Dragon Collab Serpent, and then activate the Ravine. Uh, drawing this is actually pretty good. It means that you don't have to make the Romulus ASAP, which means that the Hieratic Seal can be made before. So if you get Nibiru, then this triggers, and you summon a Dragon Monster from the deck. So you don't really lose to Nibiru at all. Anyways, uh, quick launch, summon the Rocket Tracer from deck, and then pop the Dragon's Ravine. Summon the Rocket Recharger, and then you're going to be making Striker Dragon. Get the Boot Sector. We want to do this kind of later, because the effect of, like, pop it, and then recycle back the Rocket Recharger is pretty freaking sick. And you're going to see why uh, right now, actually. So remember when the Ravine sent the uh, Chamber Dragon made? Well, look, now we're reviving it back just like that. So revive and then search for the Tidying. We either get to make Borlode Savage Dragon with only one negate, which is not the best, or we get to make Chaos Ruler Demonic Dragon. And if we get lucky, all the better. Well, the first card's pretty good. Levianir, and then, oh, Tidying. That's a good mail, actually. It's a good card that I want in the graveyard. So I'll take that. And then uh, summon the Chaos Dragon Levianir. Make my opponent lose one card. That doesn't matter, though, because uh, all these cards would get negated. And then make the Lingus Dragon. Normal summon Rocket Synchron. It took like 10 years for me to actually have to use my normal summon. Oh, yes, man. All right, revive back Levianir, and then make Quad Borel, because that is a Rocket Monster. Any Synchron monster, shout outs to you, say. We got Quad Boral, Discard, Pop the Dillingerous, Revive Back 2, including very specifically the Rocket Synchron, because that would be used with the Chaos Ruler again in order to make the Hot Red. And the other monster doesn't really matter. I mean, it's going to be used as a Link material, anyways. Revive Back Dillingerous, and then <laughs> Revive Back the Chaos Ruler, make Hot Red, and then make a Boral and Revive Back the Chamber from Grave, since we did mail the Tidying. And then Negate the Chamber, Revive Back Rocket Tracer. And make Borlold Savage Dragon. Oh my god, every single monster on this field is an interruption. Look, Hieratic Seal is a bounce. This is a negate and a monster reborn. This is an Omni Negate and this is an Omni Negate as well. And it's very good against cards that uh, might be... Like, cards that say you can only activate one per turn like Shadow Fusion. So if you go Savage Negate the Shadow Fusion, your opponent can use another Shadow Fusion right after. Whereas if you go... Hot Red negate, then your opponent cannot use the other copies because Hot Red doesn't negate the activation of anything, it only negates the effect. And it's also a proactive negate, so you can use it even under like Denko Seca. You can go negate Denko Seca and then I can use my trap cards. Whereas Bolo Savage Dragon is not like that, you have to wait until your opponent does something, and then you go negate that activation. Anyways, I also didn't have to discard my other card, my Forbidden Droplet. So now my opponent goes Shadow Fusion, I go uh, Nugate, and then Fusion Destiny. Negate with Borlode Savage Dragon, that's a pretty nice hand that you got there. It doesn't do anything, and Celestial as your normal summon. Feels freaking bad, and yeah, I mean, at this point, I'm really basically just showing you how your monsters, uh, they're not just interruptions. Again, you have a built-in follow-up in your deck. So this is the thing with Dragon Link, is that on top of making interruptions, you always have more gas for the turns to come. And this is the reason why this deck might get a hit one way or another. Probably Hieratic Seal would be the best way to hit this deck because that Link 2 is absolute bonkers. Probably the best Link monster in the entire deck, to be honest, alongside Striker Dragon. Anyways, that's pretty much all I had to say for this, uh, well, showcase for this Dragon Link combo video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for the deck profile. Peace.